All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install Optifine for 1.20.4. The first thing you have to do when installing any version of Optifine is you need to download and run the version of Minecraft that you want to install it for at least once. So I've got my Minecraft launcher open, and I've got it selected in this little pull down here on the side, on the left hand side, to the latest release. Now, if you're not sure if you've got the latest release or what version you've got going on, you can go to the top here under installations and you can see all the different versions that you have installed. I currently use a lot of Optifine 120.1, but if you want, you can create a new installation by clicking this button at the top. We can call this uh, 124 latest or new and improved, whatever you want to call it. And then under the version, you can literally select either like a snapshot or an older version, like 1.20 or way, way, way back in time to like 1.18.1, whatever you want. But I'm going to go with the latest release here and then I can just leave the rest of this on automatic. It'll just create the directories where it wants to automatically along with the automatic resolution. And then I will hit create. And then now here it is down here, the new and improved 1.20.4. And then I can click on play and it'll automatically download that version to my computer and then run it. As you can see here going on as this little green bar is populating. Now, once you see it close and then pop back open the actual Minecraft window like it did here, and you can see stuff moving around in the background, you're good to go. You can actually close Minecraft for now. And then we can go download Optifine. So if you Google Optifine, it should be the first result. And the website looks like this. I'll put the links to this in the video description below if you need it. Then we wanna to go to downloads and currently the only version of Optifine for 1.20.4 is a preview version, which is one of their test versions before like they have the final version, like the one that you see down here for Optifine HDU 16. Uh, but we're gonna try out this one. We're just gonna click on download. It'll take you to like a weird little advertisement because that's how Optifine tries to make money when you download stuff. Don't click on anything on this page until you see the skip button in the upper right hand corner, click on skip then you should be able to click download, and then download Optifine to wherever you want. Once you do that, we're just going to open up this folder here, and then Optifine should be right here. You can double click on that. It should run automatically using Java because it's a Java file. If not, you can go to open with, and then it should give you the option to run it with Java or you can go to choose another app, and then in this menu, you can select from it manually. But I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it, and it should automatically know where your Minecraft folder is. If your Minecraft folder is in a different location than your app data folder, and you know it's been moved because you moved it, go ahead and click on these three little dots. It'll bring open a file browser, so you can tell it where your Minecraft folder is at. Otherwise, if it's just in the default location, just go ahead and click on install. And then it should be like almost instantaneous. It's a very short and quick process. And then from there, you can open Minecraft back up. So I'm gonna open up my Minecraft launcher here. And then inside this launcher, you should now have the option once it's done loading, to load from Optifine 1.20.4. So here you see at the top of my pull down menu, I've got 1.20.4 new and improved that we just created. But then here is Optifine 1.20.4. So to launch the Optifine version, all you have to do is select Optifine 124 and then click on play. And then it should just launch and you can do the stuff with the things. Now it's worth mentioning that if you have shaders, You'll have to go back to your app data folder. You can also, but instead of actually like going to your app data folder manually, we'll go to installations. We'll go to Optifine here, hover over it and click on this folder button. 
And then this should bring you to your Minecraft folder on your computer. All of these different installations have the same Minecraft folder. So you don't have to like find a different version, and install shaders for each one of them. All you have to do is go to your Minecraft folder. And if you don't already have a shader pack folder, like right here, with all the stuff in it, you can just create a folder called shader packs. You previously it was called shaders, but it changed the name on me. So I'm not sure why, um, but it's called shader packs now. And then you can dump all of your shaders that you want to play around with inside this folder. So you can select them when you load into the game. So just if it, you've, if you don't already have a shader packs file, create shader packs and then just dump them inside of there. I created this folder back on the second and now it's like the 17th. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch Optifine. And I understand the risks of playing this, this Minecraft Java edition modified. It's just a warning to let you know that you're playing a modified version of the game and shenanigans might occur. And now once you've got this loaded up, you should be able to go into options, video settings, and then shaders and select from one of your shaders that you have inside of that folder. I'm currently using the BSL shaders, but you can like go to soft voxels, light or whatever you've got installed. And then I can go to single player to like a random new world that I've got. And I should be able to, once I'm loaded in, see those shaders that I've selected. Which gives everything like a volumetric fog look in the background and funkadelic, psychedelic sh like shadows. It's a weird, I, I picked some weird ones that I was messing around with to see if I liked any of them. But yeah, there you go. That's how you install Optifine for 1.20.4 along with how to install shaders. So I hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.